You're listening to Saturday Morning Media. And now, back to our show. Elf Centered is made possible by the Saturday Morning Media Patreon patrons. To support the show and hear new episodes before anyone else, become a patron. Visit patreon.com forward slash Saturday Morning Media for more information. And thank you for your support. Well, this is 10 miles long. Right. But the font they want to tr- they always try to make it smaller and the font's getting smaller and smaller and by the end of the year I was oh, like I needed the like, glasses. It's got to be like point five. Li- they should make the list digital. Yeah, I don't know why they write it all hand down. He uh, loves pen and paper, and when I say he, I mean Santa. Santa. And I was like, well, you know, there's a you can just take your phone and scan the list, yeah. and then put it in digitally, and it makes it so much easier to. Not that we're deleting names, but to move names from one list to the well, other sure. list. Yeah, well, make it so much easier. You can also make it bigger. Right. So it's easier to read. Yeah. But I like your glasses. Thank you Don't very much, Beatrice. I like them too. I know. He's just, he's just, he's having, he's, fun, he's having funning a, me. I'm having a fun in. Yeah. I'm funning him. Welcome to Elf Centered, everybody. My name is Gavin. I'm Beatrice. I'm and, Gary. And uh, welcome to Elf Centered. It's great to, uh, have you all here and everyone is relaxed and uh wonderful and uh enjoying their month off because soon it's back to work we got to start cleaning up the workshop all that kind of good stuff which let me get this out of the way the uh the winter workshop cleanup is coming up february 4th so everyone uh prepare that and uh, just stays away we'll do the big uh winter workshop cleanup um, I but, wonder if they could change the winter workshop to the springtime workshop cleanup instead of doing it in the winter time, or maybe yeah, just we well we do do it in, in the spring. Clean. Yeah, we start working and then well, spring is in April or what March. Yeah, well Still let's get work. our new jobs. Yeah, right. so everything has to be done before the oh, assignment. I see what you're saying. Yeah, uh-huh. that's true. Yeah, and I don't, you know, there are some elves. I will not mention any names. If you guys want to mention names, you can. Oh, I will if you want to find out what you're talking about. It, who uh, don't keep a clean workstation. Oh, yeah. Bertiva. Bertiva, um, Bertiva Almond doesn't. Bertiva Almond? Yeah. You Ugh. seen her workstation? Oh, yeah. Yeah. She says that, she, well, it doesn't help that she's the slime installator uh, for the slime cans. The kids love it. Yeah, oh. slime is very popular this year. It but was. She, just, she's, she don't. Uh, she don't clean up. A it lot was, of slipping on yeah. that her workstation. Um, but that's the workshop. Com- uh, the workshop cleanup coming up on the fourth, and hopefully Bertiva will clean up her own workstation. <laughs> but I wouldn't hold my breath. Bertiva, man. we love you, Bertiva. Clean up your workstation. Mm. But I just, it was weird for me wearing these sunglasses while on vac or these glasses while I was on vacation because I'm not and like. Well, people don't see uh, uh, people don't see you in sunglasses, so I can imagine that could be. Well, I mean, these reading glasses, oh, these oh, these, okay. these glasses, because well, I have to wear them. What did you do on your vacation? Uh, I went to Washington D.C. I had never yeah. been to Washington oh, D.C. and I wanted to go. Yeah, I went down south. I wanted to see the history, and uh, I'm not going to get into politics. There's a lot of oh, come on, let's shall talk. we say activity we should talk in about the world of politics. politics? But I love seeing the history. And one of my favorite things, I don't know if you've done this, is you go to the Library of Congress, and that's where they have, um, what's the, the papers that are very important to the United States? Con- the Constitution. Constitution, yes. Declaration. And of, the Declaration of Independence. Right. Um, and sus- I, they'll suspend us. The what? Declaration of they'll suspend us? They'll, they'll suspend us? Is no, it? I think it's independence. I don't think are it's... Are you sure? I, th- I don't think know. It, I think... Yeah, you may be right. They'll suspend us. The declaration of they'll suspend us. Yeah. You, may, they... you could be right. But I want to talk about the Constitution. Oh, okay. Which has all these laws. And I don't know if you guys know this about American history, but this is what I find so fascinating is there's the Constitution and then there's uh, like amendments. They can add on to it. They can say, oh, it's like a post-it note. It's like, hey, we forgot this. We're going to put this on the Constitution. You know what I'm talking oh, about? Oh, or like, oh, this suddenly came up. We better had uh, Right. So we're going to jot this down. We're going to add it to the thing. And what I find so interesting is that the original Constitution, handwritten, Ooh. first couple of amendments, uh, they're called the, um, the Bill of Rights, I think is the name of them. But the first couple of amendments, 
handwritten. But then it's interesting to see the history because then it goes into typewritten. Ooh. And you know what I mean? It's like you see like this evolution of uh, uh, these were all handwritten and then these were written and then the writing gets a little nicer. And then it's like, typewriter. oh, printing. Then we're, the, these are printed, printed. Then these are typed. Then these. So it was very, very interesting to Pretty me. Pretty soon they'll, they'll just be like a hologram hovering there. Yeah. Or, you know, or an MP3 words. on a SoundCloud uh, uh, channel. I wish we could get Santa to make the list a hologram. <laughs> It would be so much easier. It oh. would, but it, but I think it would be, if it was a hologram, uh, it would be easier to hack or something. True. Somebody could just insert whatever they wanted into yeah. the... Yeah, like when they um, they did a hologram for Tupac. <sighs> right. They made him sing some Judy Garland song it's, during the hologram concert. It's People inter- wanted their money back. It's interesting to me that they made that hologram of Tupac, but then it's like you can't buy one. It's like, oh, I want a hologram of Tupac from my bedroom. Scare the heck out of Harvey as he runs into the into the living room, you know. Right. But you can't buy those. Right. Maybe I'll put it on my Christmas list next year. <laughs> Santa pulls some strings. But anyway, Washington, D.C. is where I went. It was very nice. Uh, it was a little chilly, but it was warmer than here. So oh, it was just yeah. chilly. You know, like it was, it was just like, ooh, ooh, I may need to put on a light uh, hoodie, you know, because it's a little chilly. <laughs> right. Not here where it's freezing. And then you see all the tall humans and they all have their little bundled up. They can't handle. Well, their skin is really thin. Yeah, i I also went to the museums there. If you've ever gone to Washington D.C., there's museums, and they have lots of museums. And it was very nice because they have a program where if you can't quite see into the display cases, they have a step stool that you can take around with you. Oh, that's really nice. uh, So I could see into the cases. Yeah. What did did you did you have a step stool for their step stool too? Because I I could see their step stool being a little too tall for you no you're on the uh, shorter side yeah no 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 this was fine this was fine it was for their their earth children or earth children like we all live on earth but for their human children that's what i meant to say okay. i didn't mean i'm not an alien don't start that conspiracy theory oh, man, I well gary lesson. tried that last year and look how that went yeah yeah that backfired but anyway gary where did you go on your vacation well, i don't know um what you don't know <sighs> well I joined a fraternity, uh, fraternity of elves, and it's an international fraternity. And what they do is it's initiation. They cut like you don't know what's happening. So in the middle of the night, somebody comes in. They and they jump on you, put a sleep a uh, uh, pillowcase over your head. They st- somebody starts slapping in the head. They would spin you around. Then they then then there's then there's about. Three days worth of traveling, you're still in that suit. Uh, you're in. They put you in a uh, uh, attaché case, and um, I still got. And, and they they have a little hole that's cut out for air, and they uh, put a bunch of beef jerky in there. And you're traveling around. They pop it op- pop you open. They still have you still have the um, thing on your head, uh, pillowcase. And then they say, and then and then some. They take you out, and then they slap you on the back and say, "Huh, breathe deep, breathe deep, breathe deep, brother elf. Do you smell? Do you smell that smell on the shelf?" And so, uh, and so I had to breathe deep, and then I had to res- 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 respond to it. I do, I do, I smell it so fine. Um, I do, I do. I wish I weren't blind. And then they pull off the. The, the pillowcase, pillowcase, and you're in the middle of a forest. Now I don't know if you're if it's in Nor- I was in Norway, I could have been in uh, a Mexican forest. I could have been in a South Korean forest. It could have been. Well, in did Iranian you go on a plane, forest. or were you were you always in a? We we went. A, I couldn't tell you. There was a lot of bumping and. Uh, wow, and this was a voluntary motors. thing. Yeah, that's something you volunteered for. Well, yeah, I didn't volunteer for that. But I didn't. Uh, I thought, you know, I was reading through some elf magazines, and I saw in the back, and they had like, you know, they have the sea monkey advertisements, and they have the, um, you know, the, you know, massage advertisements. They have the bubble gum and chewing teeth uh, advertisements, and I saw this one down the back, and it says Brotherhood of Elves, and uh, would you like to join a Fellowship of the Elves, and the, the, you know they tricked me because it, it made it feel it looked a little bit like oh they're talking about elves 
uh, uh, J.R.R. Tolkien. Like Lord of, of the Rings to- type yeah. things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, it was Lord of the Flies. Man. Oh, I- that doesn't sound fun. Oh, it wasn't. It's It wasn't at all. My, it, but and it was terrifying, and uh, uh, but you know I did it all voluntarily, so I can't sue anybody, even though I lost a toe. They had to do it. Oh my goodness! They oh. had to do it. I wondered why you're you're not wearing a shoe on that foot. Well, they as part of the initiation, you have to show it off, and you can't talk. So anyway, I went to. Uh, I had a nice vacation. Um, uh, yeah, Big Bear, California. Oh, That's well, what I meant to say. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, well, that certainly was an interesting story, Gary. Uh, and we hope you had fun at Big Bear, California. Oh, thanks. Thanks a lot, Gavin. I did. I, I, I'm i very happy to never go back there. I've had enough of Big Bear, California. For the rest of my life, Wait, I hey, hope never hey, to go hey, back. Uh, who's that? And what's that? There's an SUV outside. I'm looking through the window. With, what? Uh, it's black, an SUV sleigh. Yeah. It's got black tinted windows. What? What? <laughs> Gary, all right. Uh, 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 yeah, everything's fine. Uh, everything's fine. Um, oh, yeah, boy. everything's fine. All right, well, uh, since everything's fine, Beatrice will move on to you. Yeah, let's your, move on to Beatrice's story. Your, uh, vacation, where'd you go? Well, nothing is nearly as e- exciting as Gary's vacation to Hawaii. No, yeah, Big, Big Bear, Bear Cal- Hawaii. Big Bear, Hawaii, California. Yeah. Big Bear, Hawaii, California. I- uh, I did something really, I did something really posh, Ooh. and I went to London, England. <sighs> oh, oh wow! What a dream! It was a dream. Ah, oh, it was so exciting, and the food. Oh, and bubble and squeak, and the bubble and squeak, and the scones, and the blood tea, pudding. The, no, I did not eat any of that. Oh, um, the, tripe. No, I didn't have any tripe. The afternoon tea, the Victoria sponge, riding on the tube, and the plays. Oh, I had such a good time. I think this is the first time I've had a vacation that actually worked. Yeah, because your vacations have sort of gone up and down. Yeah, Yeah. the staycation was not so great. No. Yoga. No, the yoga. Yeah, no, let's not. Frozen. Yeah, no, let's. This was a, oh, it was a dream. I didn't want to come home. I didn't want to come home. Well, we're glad you did. Thank you. Oh yeah, I'm glad you did. Did you bring me? Um, did you bring me the DVD set of the Mighty Boosh season one through three? I did. Thank you. I did. Now I heard this as a rumor, and I wanted to wait to ask you to get you on the show. But I heard you. You talked about you saw the plays. I heard you might have auditioned for a play while you were out there. Ooh, ooh, ooh! I didn't. <laughs> you know. didn't you didn't hear this. I did not hear this. Oh no! I heard that uh, there was a. She talks about not wanting to come back. I heard that she auditioned. I did. I did get an audition. It was a. It was a fluke. And, uh, you know, I went on a lark just to say I did it. Oh, just, of course. You know, to say I auditioned in London. But uh, the audition went very well. They were very complimentary. I haven't heard back yet. So fingers crossed. Oh, you'll be the first be to know. Well, I I am just amazed to know you. Because first this movie yes. that you were part of and now a play. Yeah. You well, record an album. You're going to have one of those uh, escargots or egot. What are they? Where you win all the awards for in oh, each yeah, field? Oh yeah, I can't remember what that's called. Um, yeah. Well, uh, the movie was triple, you know. Uh, uh, tri- uh, well, she's definitely a triple threat. Yeah, I mean, for come sure. on, she's like a quadruple th- sing tink. I can't. Right, she could sing. Get dance, more than act. Yo 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 yo. Cook make make uh, scotch scotch Yeah, and I'm nifty with a needle and thread. Right. Remember my Daener- yep. Daenerys uh, costume? Yeah. Oh I gosh. think when Santa Land finally opens, I think you should be. I mean, you're already doing scotcheroos and all the treats and everything for the thing, but I think you should be in charge of entertainment. I think you're going to have to get someone else to do scotcheroos. And part of the draw of Santa Land will be to see Beatrice live on stage. Yeah. Oh, pipe dreams, pipe dreams, lads. That's what they call uh, people in, in they call England. call you a lad? Here, here they say, you know, hey, you guys, 
or dudes, hey dude, there it's lads, or mate. Mad lad. Right. Mate or lads. Well, I, I thought it was funny you said when you first came back that you were, um, like the first couple days you were there, you thought that everybody was telling you that you had to go to the bathroom, and then you realized that we meant little. Oh, yes. yes. Right, and you were telling, because, you yes, know. Yes, that was hilarious. Oh, yeah. oh the English Yeah, and you so kept, kept, I remember you, I remember she kept asking people, like, she had to go. Speaking of we, uh, and she kept asking people where the loo was. Right, and, and people kept pointing down the street and around. The, and they, she, they all thought she was talking about Lou Alcinda. Right, the elf. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, hilarity, hilarity. So well, I'm what glad was the play? Was it a comedy? Was it a tragedy? Was it a sitcom? It's a comedy. Is it situational or is it character driven? It, it's a character driven comedy about um, a young man who is looking for a roommate on Craigslist. Oh, oh. Mm-hmm. that yeah. sounds interesting. Yeah, man. Oh, and that's like Elfless here. No, I just right, got, like I Elfless. Like, Craig, yeah, Craigslist. oh yeah, yeah. Elfless. Sorry, sorry. The the uh, the humans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Craigslist. Right. Well, yeah. I hope you get it. That would be awesome oh, if you got to amazing. go to London. I know. Uh, How long is the run for? Well, I if you get it. it, it could be, it could be just two weeks, but it could be longer because in London they do really long runs because they love the arts there, they love theater. Well, we would miss you if that happened. Yeah. I would well, we'd have you. to get her calling calling in. Yeah. Um, to do a uh, uh, elf Skype. Oh yeah. Over the well, what's the time difference from eight hours? Well, the, but we're in the oh. North Pole, so oh, the, right. it's interesting. Because we're sort of above everything, you know? So I don't know yeah, how the so, time I zone works. Oh, I think no, you just move to like, that. you go two houses down, you're yeah. in the next time or zone. Or you turn right. left, left 35 degrees, just in that same spot, and you're in a different time zone. Right. Oh, so we'll have to figure so that interesting. out. Interesting. I never thought about that. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's eight hours from the West Coast. That's why at my mushroom hut, like it'll be five o'clock in the afternoon. And in Gary's mush- mushroom hut, it'll be two o'clock in the morning. Right. It's very strange. Oh, yeah, that has that has created many mishaps. Yeah, that's why we don't up here in the North Pole. So <laughs> yeah. many mishaps. Yeah, that's why we go by the astrological charts to right. tell the time now. Yeah, we don't go by the we don't go by Greenwich Mean Time. Well, it is five minutes to Leo right now, which means that uh, it's time Ooh, it's to... it's almost breakfast time. It's almost <laughs> breakfast time. we got to wrap this up. We want to tell you the forecast. Uh, the forecast is going to be snow tonight, snow into the uh, morning, and then uh, a, a small break in the afternoon, and then snow throughout the rest of the week. So you have that to look forward to. Uh, thank you so much for listening to Elf Centered. My name is Gavin. I'm Beatrice. I'm Gary. Welcome back from vacation, everybody. It's time to get back to work. Okay. Here we go. Don't forget the cleanup. So, uh, uh, what what is the name of your character uh, that you auditioned for? Um, um, well, I I auditioned for a few different characters. Oh, so. I don't mean to interrupt, but why are those guys getting out of that SUV? They're coming right up. This episode of Elf Centered was completely improvised by Jane Entwistle, Chris Sheets, and Grant Pachoco. Music for this episode by Kevin McLeod. This episode was edited by Stephen Staver. Elf Centered is a production of Saturday Morning Media and made possible by the Saturday Morning Media Patreon patrons who've gone to patreon.com forward slash Saturday Morning Media and set up a monthly pledge for as little as a dollar a month. Patrons get new episodes before they are released, behind-the-scenes information, and exclusive bonus content. If you'd like to support this show and the other fun content from Saturday Morning Media, become a patron. Head on over to p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com forward slash Saturday Morning Media and set up your monthly pledge today. You can also tell a friend about the show or leave the show a review on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, or wherever you listen to your podcasts. Thank you so much for listening. Elf Centered is copyright 2018 Saturday Morning Media Grant Pachoco Executive Producer. All rights reserved. www.saturdaymorningmedia.com You've been listening to Saturday Morning Media. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.